Welcome back Shoshones, it's Chief Soaring Eagle Superb Man here and it's time for us to continue our civilization and it's also time to celebrate. We are finally back at peace. The war, the great war is over. We have uh, made peace with the Zulus after liberating the Polish and the Japanese and after being blindsided by the Assyrians at Hawk Bay, we went back, we, we, let, we showed them who was boss, all right, weakening, weakening their city down, uh, killing a bunch of their naval units that they have to spend more time to rebuild all right, which will slow down their empire, but then we showed that we are humans and we are humanitarians and that we're not warmongers and we gave them their city back, okay? So, now that that's done, we can basically do that, uh, that sprint towards the cultural victory. That's what I've been saying that we should be doing now, okay? And it's about that time in the game where we can really start to focus on it. So... Before we do all this stuff, I have to uh, just get all of my navy sorted out. I was thinking of splitting them up and sending them to like different cities just so I could have defense everywhere. But you know what? I think I should actually just keep them all together. It'd be a lot easier and keep them up around Hawk Bay, Heron Hall, and Duckburg. Um, Peregrine Point, if someone takes that city, I mean, I can I can stand losing that city. Mose and Connie, that's not going to fall the way it is. I can quickly purchase units, and it's it's a fortress the way it is anyways. Uh, but these cities up here, these are the vulnerable cities, as we can see by Assyria, okay? So I think I want to have my navy just in here. Kind of, well, maybe I'll put it in the uh, the borders so that they can, uh, they, they can heal up, but you guys know what I mean. So we're going to just send all you guys over here. First, we'll send all the healed units. There you go. You guys are all going to come back over here because if they're here, if they declare war, then at least I can set up and not be ambushed, right? And if they attack the city, I can just take it back. And also, if they attack, I can send these guys down here and uh, get to Mosin Connie within two or three turns. So it's not a, it's not a problem. Uh, you, yeah, you're going to take your time still. And all you guys, you guys have all got to heal up. So I'm going to send you into these borders over here. There you go. I uh, sent you there. Let me just do this. There you go. All right, you, one, two, three, four now, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, there it is, that should be every, oh, a six and seven still, so I'll just, uh, you go right there, and you are going to go right, oh, oh, right there, and great admiral, you are going to stay in Robin Bluffs, okay? So there you go, our navy's on the move. I'm not going to delete any of them because I want to see how much money we're making with this navy after the Golden Age. It'd be smart to hold on to a navy because this isn't, uh, like, you're always going to have a navy as your military before the land units, always. The only other civilization that can beat us with just land units is the Portuguese, okay? But you got to always maintain a strong navy, and I'm not completely sure what units can be upgraded to battleships. I, I don't know if it's the privateers and the frigates, or if it's just the frigates, or just the private. Like, I don't know what the upgrades do just yet uh, for naval units, so I don't want to uh, delete any of these units. I want to hold on to them. It's, it's, it's good to have these guys ready if we need them okay and plus i spent so much gold in uh purchasing a lot of those privateers to be a waste to just uh, give them away so i'm gonna hold on to them for right now um and we're gonna do one more turn and then i'm gonna focus uh, this whole video might be just focused on the uh the cultural uh not the cultural victory but uh hang on uh, this guy was you're going to kyoto yeah this guy was going up here to kyoto uh but this whole video may be just focused on getting the tourism uh theming bonus as much as we possibly can, okay? I'm going to do that the next turn, so we may take a while here. I just want to do one more turn just to see what happens here um, in the world. Let's see, oh my god, 26 coal. Good god almighty, we have a lot of coal. If only that was oil. Coal, coal becomes kind of useless after a certain uh, certain point. Useful now, I guess, for factories. What else does coal do? I think it's some units use coal, I think. I could be wrong about that, I don't know. The ironclad, does that use coal? I don't know. Anyways, uh, what's happened over here? Influence over Ur has decreased to the point where you are no longer allies. That's okay, because uh, Pugwini is going to rig the election eventually. Hopefully, hopefully he does. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, God damn it, I sent my uh, missionaries through the uh, Brazilian territory. Damn it, I forgot about that. Ah, open border crap. All right, so you just stay alongside. I'll have to move them up manually. Okay. Uh, Zulus, fucking hell, man. Zulus are stealing archaeology now. We demand that you cease spying on us right now, alright? There you go. They're probably gonna still spy on us, whatever. Man, my spies have sucked balls this round. They, they're, they're allowing everybody to steal. I got a constabulary and a, a promoted spy in Mosin and it's still losing technology. God damn. Alright, so we got the factory done in Eagle Island. I think what we should be doing now is... 
uh, cargo ships, but I could, you know what, I could build them both in, uh, what's, uh, Mose and Connie. You know what? Well, ha what do we, what else do we have to build over here? Constabulary? Uh, no, we need museums in public schools. Yeah, that's what I want to be going after. Alright, so all these guys, I'm going to be going after, uh, once we get the museum done here, I'm going to go after some cargo ships. I'm not going to purchase them, I can save the money. Okay, and, uh, I could use some more workers as well, but the workers are unautomated, so you know what, they'll get around. Yeah, they'll get her. I can't. I can't work. Uh, worry about workers right yet. Just hang on. Um, okay, so let's worry about this theming bonus now. We might as well just take care of this. It's gonna take a while. So everything right now, our uh, tourism is rising against everybody else's culture, which is good. Rising slowly in some cases, but it is rising. Okay, so that's good. Uh, basically, you got to get your tourism higher than their culture. Okay, so. We haven't done it for any civilization just yet, but we can uh, really start to increase this, especially when we get things like the uh, the world religion. Hopefully, that'll increase it by 50%, I think, something like that. Um, so, swap great works, or your culture. So, we got to go through all of this stuff right here. It's going to take some time, but uh, we got to get it done. So, basically, all these wonders, I want to get the full theming bonus. So, for the, uh, what is this? This is the, uh, the Great Library, or the Ox Oxford University. To maximize... Whoa, to maximize your bonus, make sure the great work slots are filled with writings from different eras and from civilizations other than the city owner. So I need writings from different eras and uh, from other civilizations. Okay, so I already have the Shoshone writer. That's not going to work. Shoshone Portuguese writer. Okay, so I could use him up there. Now I'm going to lose the theming bonus for uh, the great library, but whatever. All right, so I already got these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoshone, Shoshone. Uh, writers, writers, writers. What's up here? Shoshone. About you, Shoshone. All right, so all I have is a bunch of uh, Shoshone writers. So to get this extra bonus, I need to get something other than Portugal. Uh, yeah, something other than Portugal and something other than the medieval era. Okay, so that's what I want to go for here. So swap great works of art. So not in the medieval and not po oh fuck, goddamn. Uh, let me just do it again. Hang on, Portugal and medieval era. Yes. So I don't want that one because that's in the medieval era. Medieval era. Medieval era. Medieval era. God damn, they're all in medieval eras right now. The writers. Yeah. Okay. So it looks like everyone's got a writer in the medieval era right now. Medieval. So I'm gonna have to wait some time before I get uh, uh, the Oxford University. Why does it keep on? What do I have to do when I just go back to that? Oh, okay. I go back to that. So I won't be able to get that one. So I might as well just send this guy back down here to increase the Great Library. Now, what does the Great Library want again? Uh, different civilization. So it can be my own civilization in this one. So that one works. Okay. So we got plus four for the Great Library. Uh, Sistine Chapel now. Oh, hang on. Let me just uh, let me just see what it says. Uh, from the same era and civilization. So Shoshone Industrial Era, Shoshone Industrial Era. There it is. So that one's taken care of. Now the Louvre. Uh, make sure the great work slots are filled with two great works of art and two artifacts with all being from different eras and different civilizations. Holy crap. That's that's a tough one. So I need two artifacts. So for that, I'm going to need, um, what's it called? I'm going to need uh, uh, architects, not architects, uh, archaeologists, archaeologists. So there's no way I can get the Louvre just yet, okay? So uh, don't even worry about that one right now. Uh, the Globe Theater, what's this thing saying? Uh, from the same era and civilization. So I'm pretty sure I could get another Shoshone writer in there. Shoshone Renaissance. Same. Yeah. So Shoshone Renaissance. All right, what else do I have up here? I got Shoshone Re Renaissance. So that should go right there and that should work. Yep. All right. It was the same, right? It wanted the same civilization. Writings from the same era and civilization. So that would be Shoshone Renaissance, Shoshone Renaissance. Yeah, okay, so there you go. There's another plus four. And we already have, what does it want in here? Hang on, let me just see what it says that it wants. Uh, does it, uh, shit, it doesn't, I can't move them out. I think it doesn't matter. I think it's just whatever's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so I'll just leave that. So... Right now, we still got to work on the uh, the great Ox, or not the great, the Oxford University. I need um, I need other great writers from other civilizations other than medieval. All they have is medieval right now, right? Oh, my God. That's so annoying. Uh, unless, hang on, unless I have another one that's not medieval myself. I have industrial. Hang on, I could do this. And then I would need another writer to trade, though. Yeah, you know what? I wouldn't be able to do it because... I'm using all the, I would have to trade, no, 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 I wouldn't be able to. So right now I cannot get the, uh, I need to uh, get some more writers. And that's what we have the religion for. But I want to save that up for uh, um, great musicians in the future, for tours. Because those are the best ways. So let's just take this one step at a time, hang on. So I got all that, yeah, that's all taken care of. I need some more artists and shit. 
Uh, okay, that's all good. And then for the rest of this, I just load up in here. So yeah, that's basically what we have right now. We need a bunch more artists, writers, and all that good stuff, and artifacts. Okay, but uh, we can get that. I don't want to spend faith to get those just yet. I, th I think that's a waste to do it right now. Um, we can still earn them the old-fashioned way right now. And... Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to waste faith, right? Now. I don't want to waste faith. Remember, we still have all these uh, museums and all this shit coming. That's going to help us with our culture as well. So, just uh, hold off on that for right now. But there you go. I just improved our uh, theming bonus. It's up to thirty-eight now. Okay. So now, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, you guys are fine up there. Yeah, we're just we're continuing to go. We got the uh, factories that are being completed in basically every one of our cities. Uh, you, sir. Uh, why why can't you move? Just get up there. There you go. Okay. Very nice. And you yeah, just get over there as well. Okay, so these guys are going to stay over here now. We will go next turn. Let's see what happens. No one should declare war on us. All right, so I'm going to just keep on refusing those deals. I want to reset all of my resources so I can just start up a, ho a whole new list. Like, see, all the I want to get, like, a whole new list going so that they all end on one turn. All right, so... We're going to just sacrifice some gold for right now. I want to get friendships with all these other civilizations as well so I can make as much gold per turn as I possibly can. Uh, yeah, see what I mean? Okay, I think it's going up this turn anyway. So we'll just wait for all the other civilizations to process. And then we will figure that out. So, our yeah, we we're like 500 ahead of uh, Shaka, who's still in second. He's still in second, but that was a big uh, chunk that he lost there in, uh, in uh, what's it called? In, uh, oh, man, in Japan and uh, Poland. So it's good for us. All right, Pugwini, it's time for you to uh, friggin' get on top of that. All right, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Pugwini's up here. They're only my friends right now, I think, because somebody else allied them, or we only have 58. That's what it is. Uh, they want superbism to become the majority religion in their, uh, well, whatever. Um, but what was I saying about these guys? Pugwini, how long is it going to take before you get your two, two turns? So we'll see how much... Uh, um, we'll see if they become our ally again. Let's see if Pugwini's doing something up there in his Arctic getaway. Uh, alright, so we got, uh, museum done in Mozenkani. Now, I'd like to get the Hermitage done, but we need another opera house still done in Dodo Desert. So I, th I think I might purchase that one. But in the meantime, I'd like cargo ships in Mozenkani, alright? So, I might purchase an opera house so I can get the Hermitage done. But we'll, we'll just wait on that, okay? Hang on. Unit needs orders. Missionary. Alright, so you guys get your asses up there. You as well, stay out, no, stay out of the Brazilian borders. There you go. They're going to take so long to get up there. All right, frigates. Uh, yeah, you can stay right there. You're fully healed. So next turn, we're going to fly through this. We know what we're doing. Okay, all these guys. Yeah, you're going to go right there. You're going to go right there. All right, so Heron Hall, Hawk Bay, and Robin Bluffs, they got their navy ready to go. Just in case shit happens, all right? Just in case. And you know what? These frigates... You guys are actually going to come down here and be off the coast down here. Just closer to Mosin just in case. Alright, you never know. And a privateer as well. Yeah, these guys can come down here by Robin Bluffs. Alright, so there's our navy. We got our northern navy, our uh, our eastern navy, our western navy, our eastern navy over here. And we don't have a southern navy, but we got three fleets. Okay, so that's good. We can spread them out. If uh, we get attacked, they can get uh, get back to business real quickly if I need to. Okay, so we're still at 14 happiness. Good, good. Still continuing to grow. Let me just check on Peregrine Point. Yeah, they're going to have the factory done in one turn. That's very good news. Very good news. All right, so next turn, let's see what happens here. Don't worry about the Portuguese. We got machine guns, and we actually have a good chunk of gold again now. We're going to run out of uh, that uh, golden age in seven turns, but that was a hell of a golden age to be stuck in. Ooh, look at this. Shaka has declared war, uh, declared war on the uh, Indonesians, and I think I know why. Hang on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Refuse. There you go. I'm going to do that right now, actually. I want to make as much gold as I can for the last six turns. But I think I know why the Zulus declared war on the Indonesians. Now, I'm not going to stop the Zulus from going after the Indonesians, right? It's not up to me to do that. I'm just glad that they focused their energy on somebody else. That's just good news for us, all right? Because Indonesia is in fourth, Zulus in second. So, I mean, third and second are going at, uh, third and fourth are going at each other. Fine by me. Fine by me. All right, ooh, all right, so here, this is getting interesting now, so hang on one second here, all right, we're hitting some new things, so the reason I think the Zulus are declaring war on them, I think they want this city right here, right beside their borders, all right, I mean, there's close, I mean, Morocco would be closer than Indonesia, and it didn't seem like the Zulus had much of a, uh, 
much of a, a, a navy, so I'd imagine it's probably because of that city. But at least they're not declaring war on Japan or uh, uh, Poland, which is good news for us. So production. We got the factory done in Peregrine Point, which is good news. I am now going to, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I want to get this done. I'm going to get workers done in every single one of our cities just to finish up any extra resource tiles that we do not have worked currently. And then I'm also going to go after our archaeologists to pick up all of these antiquity sites, okay? Um, but we'll get to that, we'll get to that. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Sand Pitch has been promoted to agent, good. That's good for us. Shaka has declared war, alright? It was Shaka declaring war, it wasn't the Indonesians declaring war. Uh, a Syrian spy has stole the secrets of archaeology from Mosin Khani. God damn it, man. God damn it. Uh, we demand that you cease spying on us as your request. All right, good. So he says he's going to stop. Um, and your spy, oh, I guess that's why. He, he had two spies. He killed a Brazilian spy, you sons of bitches. Uh, we demand right. that you cease spying on us. Our agents help keep our civilization no. safe from all threats, including you. They operate as we need them to, not as you ask. Yeah, because I'm a threat to you, right? Jesus, you stupid goofball. Alright, whatever. Alright, so because you have factories in three cities, the ideas of industrial revolution now per, uh, permeate permeate your uh, society. Your people will clamor for you to pick an ideology for your civilization. This is the extension to the social policy now, okay? Ideologies. Now, I can go after autocracy, uh, freedom, or order. Autocracy is good for cultural victory, which is what we're going after, uh, diplomatic victory, and a warlike victory, okay? Freedom, cultural victory, uh, diplomatic victory, and science victory, order, cultural victory, war victory, and a uh, science victory. Okay, so I, I'm going to go after, can you go to details? Yeah, yeah, okay, you can go to details. So uh, I think I'm going to go after freedom, and I'll show you why. If I go to autocracy... And these are the extra things that you can go after, right? Okay, I'll try to explain this to you guys. Like when you get social policies now, right? I can still get social policies, but now I can go to ideology and spend my points on on, on individual... Whoa, 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 no, no, no. On individual um, ideologies. All of these things, okay? So you can spend culture on these things now. So... Basically, autocracy, I can get uh, elite forces. I don't need that. I can get all of these as well. So don't, it's not about like one or two. I can eventually get them all. Uh, mobilization, that's not bad. Uh, futurism, okay. So 100% tourism with all known civs when a great writer, artist, or musician is born. Uh, 100 plus uh, tourism. It's not bad, but it's nothing. It's it's not amazing, right? It's not, it's not amazing. Um, well, maybe it is. I don't, I don't know. There's another one in freedom, though, that I really like. I'll show you guys that eventually. I'm looking for something that ha that helps tourism. So level three, 50% tourism to civilizations fighting a common enemy. Again, that doesn't help because I don't plan it being at war, right? So you guys can see all that for uh, autocracy. But I think I'm going to go with uh, freedom. Just because freedom, right off the beginning, you get... Uh, this one, one plus culture from each great work, but tourism is unchanged. We have a lot of great works and that would increase our culture, right? The rate at which great people are born is increased by 25%. That's artists, uh, writers, and musicians, all right? They, they are increased by 25%. Specialists consume only half the amount of food, so we can start to work all those specialists in those cities, right? Go down here, hang on. Six units are maintenance free, which is a nice one. Uh, uh, whoa, whoa. Specialists in cities pursue... Uh, Produce half the amount of normal uh, happiness or un uh, unhappiness. So again, you get that one and that one. I mean, your cities are just powerhouse specialist cities, right? And then level three, 34% tourism generated by cities with the broadcast tower. And I plan on getting that one. I really like freedom for the uh, cultural victory. Okay. And order. If we take a uh, take a look at order, um, I don't. I, I've never. I haven't used order just yet. Just, but, uh, no, I'm not going to go after order. It's more of a, uh, a domination expansion type of thing, all right? Uh, so, no, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go after freedom, all right? We're going to go after freedom. There you go. Boom! We're free, baby! The Shoshone. Yeah, that's, that's a good one for us anyways. So, we can now choose. So, it's not letting me choose any of these. I got to go to ideology. And I have two tenants to go after. So, we'll get the first one. And the first one I'm going to go after, specialists consume only half the amount of normal food. Okay, I like that one. Boom! And we get to go after another. I'm going to go after, uh... Ooh, 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 oo
I'm going to go after the rate in which great people are born increased by 25%. I like that. All right, there you go. We're going to get another great social policy at three. Each one of these costs a social policy, basically, okay? So the next one is at 3,200. But now I'm making so much culture per turn. I'm, I'm making a social policy every 10 turns, less than 10 turns now. And that's only going to go up as I get more and more artists and all that shit, right? So, uh... And also the um, the extra one that's coming, the uh, one plus culture for every piece of great work. I mean, once I start getting all that, that's that's another plus twenty culture right there. Like we're gonna be getting plenty of culture, all right? Along with the uh, broadcast towers and all that stuff that's ar around the uh, around the corner. So cargo ship, there you go. So with these cargo ships, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them out to. Kyoto and Warsaw because the missionaries will only change them half and half so if I at least get some pressure there they uh, might just change naturally alright so Kyoto and they're pretty far away so I'd imagine I get a lot of money for them hang on Kyoto where is Kyoto Osaka what well, can I not get to Kyoto it's too far away is it ah it's too far away it's just a little bit too far away I guess so we'll go to Osaka instead there you go alright and uh oh the other one's coming in the next turn right right the, the next one's coming in the next turn so you you're just going to head on down here now. There you go. You, you are going to just take your time, get around these borders, do not get caught in attrition. Okay. And we still have superbism in uh, Salvador and Rio de Janeiro. All right, we actually have more pressure now in both those cities, so Sao Paulo should be falling soon. Oh, yeah. We are, we are making them convert slowly, and I don't know if they can get another great profit. I don't even know if you can get great profits anymore. Yeah, you can. Never mind. But I'm still just saving. I want to save up as much faith as we can for later. You guys will see why. Anyone who knows about the uh, the musicians with the concert tours later on, that's what I'm saving up for. Okay? Uh, so, I think we'll do one more turn. Um, I'm just trying to think. Is there anything I'm forgetting? No, we're good. Oh, oh yeah, the trades. Yes, yes, the trades. Yes. All right, so we got one export for pearls, but now I can go out there and uh, trade away a bunch of these. And for the last six turns, make as much gold as I possibly can. So we'll go to the... Ooh, look at this. Assyria is friendly with us. What? Uh, you have been at war in the past, but they don't seem to hold a grudge. Well, I didn't take any of their cities, right? I just responded in kind. It was just a good old-fashioned battle. So uh, that's good. He, he doesn't hold grudges. That's good to know. So marble. I'll give you a marble resource for uh, six uh, gold per turn. Ooh, good. Damn. Pretty good. All right. So uh, Poland now. How about you? Oh, you got six gold per turn. I'll give you a resource. How about... Uh, how about a gold resource? Those are pretty common, so I'll just unload that with Poland. There you go. Good. Sweet. Uh, guarded, guarded, guarded. All right, Japan, how about you? Got any gold? You making any gold just yet? Uh, I'll give you a pearl resource for four, four gold per turn. I want to help out Japan a little bit. There you go, Japan. Uh, how about everyone else now? Neutral. You got it. Nope. Nothing that I got you want. Uh, guarded. I don't even think I should try to make a guarded trade. I ain't going to go through. Um... And Morocco, we'll go back to Morocco for neutral. No, that's about it. Okay, so a little bit of extra gold, nothing too spectacular. We'll do one more turn, last turn. All right, we'll do last turn here. But, uh, yeah, you guys, don't worry. We're, we're on the right track for that cultural victory. Ooh, you know what I should have showed you as well? I should have showed you what that specialist consume half the... Uh, ooh. Okay, so he's apologizing for his spy's recent activity. I, I forgive you. Someone apologizes to you face-to-face. -face. I mean, you're pretty much an asshole. Unless they did something horrible to you. You know what I mean? Where you gotta punch him in the face. But uh, you gotta be a man. You gotta accept that apology. You can still hate him after, but he went out of his way. Face-to-face -face apology. That takes a man to do that, so I'll accept it. Um, so... Let's see. Yeah. Uh, workers are still... They're on automated. That's why my workers are in the uh, in the waters. But I want them on automated. Let, the, let them just go wherever they have to go and repair and do whatever they have to repair. I don't want to micromanage my workers anymore. Just too much. All right. And we got a great scientist. Perfect. So, I'm not going to use the great scientist in this video. I will allow you guys to uh, come up with some suggestions on what we could do. This second guy I'm going to send to Warsaw now. Hang on. Where's Warsaw? Warsaw. Oh, can I not send him to Warsaw? Warsaw, Warsaw. Why can't I send? There it is, 20. Yes, all right, so Warsaw, there you go. So we got all of our trade routes established again, 260 gold per turn. Science, I'm going to fortify you. Missionary, get your asses up here now. We're going to go to uh, Warsaw and uh, convert this damn city. All right, and you, you know what, just uh, don't go into the borders just yet. I want to make sure that I have open borders. Okay, so there you go. Oh, you know what I should also do as well? I forgot to do this. 
Um, but like, well, I didn't forget, but I'm sure it's, uh, we still have the defensive pack. Yeah, we already have it in place. How about, are we still friends? Yeah, we're still friends. Never mind. So me and uh, Poland, we're already friends. What about the uh, Japanese? I can't remember if we made a declaration of friendship. Whoa. Defensive pack. See, it's, it's already gone away. Yeah, I think it goes doing. away once someone declares war. And once Assyria declared war on us, that nullified our defensive pack. So a defensive pact again, that deal will work good. And uh, shall we make a joint declaration of friendship? Good, good. So we're back being friends with the Japanese and the uh, the Polish. That's what I wanted. Now, how about the Assyrians? Can we be friends with the Assyrians? All right. I mean, I don't want a defensive pact. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, I'll accept an embassy with you. You know what? Let's just see if we can uh, make uh, some. I don't want to have a defensive pact with them. But shall we make a joint declaration of friendship? No, he doesn't want to make it. Just because I, I want to have trade partners of the future now. You know, we got to start building for the future. The war is behind us. So, Moe's and Connie, get going on another worker just to get it. Ooh! Ooh! No, 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 no. Dodo Desert, purchase, Opera House. Where's the Opera House? Opera House, Opera House, Opera House, Opera House. Ooh, do I need a... Uh, need a... Ooh, that's going to cost a lot of money. Oh, well, you know what? I'll do it. There you go. Get that done. And, uh, Opera House. Ooh, 740. That's costing a lot of money. But it's worth it because now in Mose and Connie, I'm going to stop on the worker. And we're going to get going on the Hermitage, which is 50% culture in this city. Which is, my culture's already at 200, so my culture could go up by another 100, right? That's definitely a go-to, uh, wonder that I should get going on. So there you go. It's going to get done in three turns. What should we do about the, uh, the great scientist? I think we should just use them on what we're going after. Uh, go after that, uh, radio refrigeration. These two are real big. And even the, uh, ooh, the Statue of Liberty is big as well because one plus production from each spe uh, specialist in every city. And we're really focusing on our custom specialists, right? So refrigeration, radio, and replaceable parts. Very important that we should get all those and build the important wonders for those three, okay? Other than that, though, you guys can let me know what we're doing. Um, again, the specialists, we uh, can be focused on production and work all of these. Uh, yeah, we're focused on production and we're working all of these specialists and we're still making food per turn right in Mose and Connie which has a population of 24 that's what specialists uh, will do so uh, we'll get into that in the next video you guys can let me know and uh, we will end it what's up uh, Pugwini doing you know, yeah he's rigging the election after this turn so that'll be perfect for the next uh, video and there you go literacy so Syria is up there at 54 but I think those are that uh, military technology that we have decided to bypass okay so you guys let me know if we're doing pretty good I like the way we're going but uh, culture culture culture